Hello there. My students and I just completed the very first day of a brand new school year. And since it's still fresh in my mind, now is the perfect time to reflect on the day's events. Won't you join me? It all started with the sound of the morning bell. First, I greeted my students as they arrived at the door. After a fun icebreaker, we worked together to establish our classroom expectations. Before long, it was time to head out to our first PE class. We returned to start our lesson, and just like that, it was time to head home. What a day it was. What a day indeed. It's fun reminiscing. But now it's time to take a closer look at all that happened today. I'll use the things I learned to build rapport with my students and plan future lessons. I'll also reflect on things that may not have gone as smoothly so that I can adjust accordingly. Ah! I'm going to use this handy first day reflection guide to organize my thoughts. Let's start with the first column, which focuses on my students. What did I learn about their interests, backgrounds, and learning styles? Who stood out and why? That's right! Many of my students were talking about a new superhero movie that just came out. Patrick and Jasper were especially interested in it. That gives me an idea. I'll make a rewards tracker with a superhero theme. That will help reinforce our expectations and inspire my students to model good behavior. Hmm. I don't remember learning anything specific about Sully today. And he didn't seem as interested in superheroes as everyone else. Let's add a reminder for tomorrow. There. Next, we'll review the schedule. What went smoothly and what took longer than expected? My students did a good job of settling into classroom activities, but struggled when transitioning to PE. Their anticipation led to some off-task behavior. We should definitely rehearse this again tomorrow. You're right, that's a great idea. When I introduce our new rewards chart, I'll explain how smooth transitions can power up our class points. That will get students more invested in our classroom procedures. Okay, only one column left, instruction. Clarice was really engaged throughout the day, but I noticed Arthur was losing focus. Seeing how much he likes to draw, I'll be sure to adapt my lesson plans to accommodate visual learners like Arthur. And done. Thanks for your help. Reflecting back on the first day of school has given me a lot of insight. I've identified what worked well and where I can improve based on each of my students' strengths and needs. I'll be sure to implement changes quickly so we can get the most out of each and every day. Of course, my students will evolve as the year progresses, so it's important that I do the same. I'll revisit this reflection guide at various times, like the first day back from a long break or the start of a new learning unit, and adapt my teaching practices as needed. As a result, my students will learn and grow from the first day of school to the very last. <laughs>